Oh, are you filming? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's jump into it. What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's not so much of an exciting video today, more so just another life update in terms of what's going on at the moment. There has been a few things that we've planned for the future and a few things that are speed humping me right now. And it's fucking frustrating, but you got to do what you got to do to get that end result. So jump in. We currently are swimming. We've bought something new that I really do not know how to use. And I will show you that in a minute. Um, and the reason why is because I am unable to run right now. Enable? Unable? Unable mm -hmm. to run. I, there is an ability to run because I have tendonitis in my patella tendon and I have tendonitis in my Achilles tendon. And that is really frustrating because I want to run. And when I get into my run, you know, say about half a kilometer in, the pain goes away and I'm able to run. But when I come home and carry on with my day to day, it just gets sore and it's just limiting my functionality. And it's also just furthering the damage. And if I want longevity in this, I need to make sure that I'm doing my rehab and my prehab now. So we, um, we started the peak run club just before we got these issues. But I said to my physio that peak run club will continue. So I am only doing one run a week, which is 5K, um, which for me is really boring because I don't like doing 5Ks. But the ability to have people like-minded that just want to run on a Saturday morning makes it fun. So that's one thing that we've been working on. We've had two runs now and we're building that. So we've got another one this week. Um, if you ever want to come for a run around workshop, wherever you are in the UK, even if you come from international, Come for a 5k run and then get out because uh, there's not much to do here. Um, <laughs> come join. Smokes is on this week and all. Um, so that's one thing that we've been working on and that's kind of allowing me to push a little bit in terms of running. Um, I am currently starting up something that's very exciting. I kind of won't get into too much of that because you'll start seeing that in the videos a little bit further down the line. Um, which yeah, it's, it's we're putting in the work and it's really coming to life now, which is exciting. Um, and when I say in, you see it in videos, you'll probably see me wearing it. I'll just leave that there for you. Um, what else we've got going on, Josh? We have booked the Paris Marathon. <laughs> <laughs> when I say we, I'm running it, not Josh. He will be pedal biking. So if you've seen some of the footage from my previous video, one of my previous videos, which was the Not In A Half Marathon, we, uh, he was on a push bike. Tell you to go. Yeah. Fucking prick. <laughs> and it was cool because he was just kind of zooming and I could see him. And that was halfway through the run where we got that push bike and it just made it pretty cool. So we understand now for the Paris Marathon, it is obviously twice the length. He's going to need a bike much sooner. But that's pretty cool. We've booked... Pre-race. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I've booked a serious gaff for that one as well because we're going out for about five days and we want to do it in style. We want to do it in comfort. So the gaff that we got is fucking unreal. I might even get Josh to book a picture just here for of the of the place that we're staying at. It's a little bit further out, but... We'll leave it. We'll do a grand reveal when we get right. there. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, it's a little bit further out, but there's station right outside, so it will literally take us 20 minutes to get into Paris. Um, where we'll be doing a, uh, a shakeout run the day before. So anybody that does want to come um, that or that is in Paris or is doing the Paris Marathon will be hosting a shakeout from uh, the Arc de Triomphe. We'll probably do anywhere between a 5 and 10k easy pace and just run around and see what's going on through Paris. It's going to be buzzing. There's going to be a lot of energy and electricity in the air, which is so it's in April, so it's starting to get warmer. Um, and it's kind of exciting and also quite daunting because I've never run anything. Well, I've done a 30K, but this is a race. And I want to run it sub 3.30 for my first ever marathon. So, <laughs> shooting for the stars. Um, I made a joke to a, uh, to a running coach that I wanted to do it sub three hours. And he goes, yeah, yeah, we can do it. And I was just like, dude, give me a break. Three, three and a half hours will be sweet. So that's what we're working to. So long as I have got a sturdy knee and a sturdy ankle to run on. Even if it's sore, I am going to run it. I am going to push it. Um, which 
yeah, as I said, it's quite daunting, but you've got to have that unbreakable mindset, and that's exactly what we're going to take into it. Ahead of that, and literally just today, in, the, in this morning, I accepted to run part of, uh, what's it called? Land's End to John O'Groats. Land's End to John O'Groats. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, somebody that I know is running um, that as a charity for, I think it's called Alzheimer's Society or something like that. Now, please forgive me if that's wrong. But yeah, it's for a good cause. So we're going to raise some money for that. Uh, he says, yeah, you'd be cool to run with us for a full day. And I was just like, yeah, cool. I was thinking like 20, 30 kilometers. He's like, no, like 50, 60 miles ultra marathon. Uh, so I've just said at first, I was like, fuck that, bro. But then I also remembered unbreakable mindset. What am I pushing on my channel? And that's to push past barriers, push past pain, push past you know, certain factors in life that are tough. And if I'm saying no to that, then I'm not really acting what I'm speaking. So that's going to be a big day. So we're going to be traveling, I mean, um, uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Training. We're going to be training for that. So I've now got to start trail running, um, which I have no experience in as well. So it's literally setting tasks that I've never attempted never thought about attempting. We started with the 10K, smashed it. Started with the half marathon, smashed it. We'll go out and smash Paris, and then when we come back, we'll go and smash this ultra marathon, and then who knows what's past there. Um, so that's fucking exciting as well. I'll have to uh, speak to Running Bear and get all my my walking sticks and everything, so I'm full kit wanker for that. We've got quite a few trips booked too. Got a few trips booked in. Oh yeah, we're going snow. Me, Smokes, and the and the gals. We're going skiing. We we'll take them there, boys. Yeah. We we'll take them there. We we'll take them there, and we'll do what we want. <laughs> no, that would be cool. What? Oh yeah, no, we can practice. Is that what you meant? Yeah. I thought you meant the birds. No, no. I'm <laughs> what about YouTube? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll be taking you. Uh, we'll be taking you to Bulgaria. So we're going skiing, and probably can do a little bit of mountaineering and stuff while I'm there. That's getting me prepared for. For no, fuck that. I'm going there for a holiday. Let's ski it. Turkey. <laughs> when are we going to Turkey? Oh, yeah, we're going to Turkey. We've got Istanbul coming up as well. We're, gonna... <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, you'll have to see, <laughs> you'll have to see about what we're doing there. But there's going to be a few videos in Turkey some running, some traveling, and something of something else. And you'll just see that because it will be funny. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a shitload going on in my life at the moment. The swimming is testing. There's not the same high that you get after running, and you're gonna sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Hey, you. Hey, it's past. It's past. It's past. Uh, there's not the same feeling when you get out of the pool. There's no runners high, and I'm telling you, bro, Ted, it's hard work. Swimming is hard work. So I started on my first day, did 500. Then the next day, I did 800. Now I've pushed it to um, one kilometer workouts. I started on um, two length um, reps not started there that's all i could do was two two length reps now we've pushed it to four length reps and it's fucking testing me now um but we're trying to push that through as much push through that as much as we possibly can but i guess that kind of leads on to what i bought um and what i do not know how to use and i think instead of me telling you let's go fucking see it <laughs> all right let's go to the garage <laughs> what do you think? It's an absolute statement, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how to ride this thing. <laughs> it is full carbon. Everything is decked out with Jura Ace. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I and mean, it's all this expensive shit, Dura Ace. I think it's Shimano. These are your brakes. In here is where you change your gears. On these kinds of bikes, there's gears at the back and gears at the front. So I down and up on this side, on either the front or the back, and then the same on the up on this side. So a lot I need to learn. We've got uh, clip-ins, which I don't know how to fucking use yet. So I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn how to clip in and clip out. Should we just practice it? And practice. Oh, that butt pad. Oh. Right. 
<laughs> oh, I'm in. So now you can't get your foot out. So apparently here you got. Oh, I'm a fucking pro. Do you just snap out? Yeah, you snap out. I just, I just snapped out. That's one thing I wanted to practice before I go riding. I don't even know how to get the fuck in this thing. There we go. We're in. And snap out. Oh. Oh my god. This is really uncomfortable. I'm glad I've got the butt, the butt, and the gooch pad. But um, yeah, it's a fucking sick bike. Everything is decked out in. Uh, I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> <laughs> it's all carbon, which I'm scared about again because if I come off, crack the frame, it's game over. It is a giant Propel Advance Two, which is way beyond my capabilities or limits. It's a full race spec. It actually came from a Team GB rider, and it was his spare bike. The guy bought it off him, that I bought it off. He just don't use it. He actually came off, snapped his collarbone, and had facial reconstruction, and he really sold it to me. So I thought, why not? I'll buy it. Um, <laughs> everything's brand new on it. The service, um, new wheels, new ev absolutely everything. New grip tape. So it's basically set up to race. And that kind of leads me to why I bought it. I'm going to lose my driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> my, unfortunately, my driver's license will be taken off me in November. Um, so I needed a bike. So I thought I'll get a race bike. Ride to the gym on a two and a half thousand pound bike. What a good. No, nah, triathlon. Okay. Who's having a fucking ice cream? It's middle of winter. Uh oh. The wife's going to see the outfit. <laughs> Where did you get that? Yeah, ah! <laughs> no. It hasn't got the top on. Don't worry, I'll, I'll take the fins out. It hasn't got the top on. What do you it's think? It's quite sexy without the top. I know. I could wear that with no top on the Thank you. She thought that was sexy. She thought she was going to hate the bike outfit. Um, but no, as I was progressing into my swimming, I know I can run. So we just thought, what's the next step? Triathlon. But we're going to start small. We're going to start with a sprint triathlon. So it's a 5k run, a 400 meter swim, and I believe it's a 20k bike ride. So uh, what are you looking at? The package? <laughs> it's all pad. It's all pad. There's padding all for your gooch, the bum, everything, yeah. <laughs> so that's the next step as well. Now, who knows where that goes? I could be an Iron Man athlete. You know? <laughs> Who knows? I like to throw myself in the deep end. I believe, throw yourself in the deep end, learn how to swim. That's how it goes. So, that's the next step with us. We've got Turkey. We've got Bulgaria. We've got Paris. We've got Ultra Marathon. We've got Sprint Triathlon. Then Ironman. <laughs> <laughs> we could do a half Ironman, but... You know, I can't even fucking swim more than four lengths at the minute, which is only 100 metres. <laughs> You're going to drown. <laughs> so, I don't think I'm going to make it. Two and a, what is it? Two and a half kilometre swim, Iron Man, isn't it? Crazy. But, uh, yeah, guys, I don't know. I think I'll leave this video here. Just before I give you an update on what's going on in my life. And uh, where it seems to be going. Just remember, don't set yourself limitations, okay? Regardless of what you think you're capable of or not. Regardless of your age, you can still push those barriers. I'm 36 and I'm just getting into this game. So <laughs> if you're younger, you set, set high standards for yourself because you will be able to achieve them. Stick at something long enough. You know, I've done, I've been running for three months. I've managed to set a 140, well, sub 140 half marathon. I've set a 42 minute, 10 kilometer. I run a five kilometer in 20 minutes and 50 seconds. And I never thought I was going to run. So just remember, don't set limitations for yourself. Push those barriers. Push comfort zones, okay? But um, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like. Please drop a comment below if you're interested in seeing more content uh, of this nature. If you've got more ideas of how I can push my limits, send them because I'll fucking do them. <laughs> uh, I am not scared of a challenge. So send them through um, and I'll... Uh, attempt them anyway but please like comment subscribe i'll see you on the next one